Hi there. The purpose and intention of this video is to use tapping, or what's traditionally called EFT, to help you get back into the flow of life. So when you notice that you're trying to control things, you're constricting, you're tensing up, you're not in the abundant flow of life, you're not where the miracles happen because you've gotten so afraid that you're starting to suffocate the possibilities in life. So this is a real short EFT or tapping video on just how to get back into the flow of life. Okay, so the basic tapping points were already taught in the basic video. You can return to that one to see those. You and I are going to just jump right in because we assume that you've watched some of the other videos and you already know the tapping points. Okay, so let's begin. I'd like you to think of something that causes you to constrict, that causes you to want to control it and... Um, hold on very tightly to it and not let it just be and not let it just play out because you are worried that it won't turn out a particular way so you keep bringing a lot of stressed negative energy to it and you might even be taking actual action steps that put a lot of stress and constriction onto it in other words you're pushing in life instead of allowing life and when that happens we typically see results that show what push looks like, which is not a lot of great results. Okay, so I want you to think of that and know what the issue is that we're working on. And then I'd also like you to just notice what it feels like in your body when you're pushing and controlling in that way. And now that you've done that, I just want you to rate on a scale of one to 10, 10's the highest, one's the lowest, how controlly and anxious you feel about it not turning out right. Okay, good job. All right, let's begin. Even though, repeat what I say, everything I say, and do all the tapping and the tapping points where I do. So just, what, it's monkey see, monkey do. Whatever I do, you do. Even though, I am so afraid this will not turn out the way I want it to. I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel controlling, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I know better, I can't help myself. And I completely love and accept myself. <sighs> this controlling feeling, this urge to control, this push within me, this frustration, this worry, this anxiety, this annoyance, this heavy feeling in my body. It's so frustrating that things aren't going my way in this area. This push. This desire to control it, this worry, this frustration, this concern that it's not going to turn out right, that it's not going to turn out right. I want this to turn out right. What if it doesn't turn out right? I know I'm not in the flow, but I don't feel like I can get in the flow. I am frustrated and worried. Take a nice deep breath in and a great long exhale out. Good. Now I just want you to notice what you were thinking about. What, what came up for you? What did you notice when we were doing that? What thoughts, what feelings? I also want you to notice what's happening in your body. What do you feel there? And I'd like you to measure on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 is the highest, 1 is the lowest. Where is that fear right now? Did it go up? Did it go down? Did it stay the same? Okay. Let's jump back in. Even though I cannot possibly understand how doing this method is going to help this issue, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I really want this to turn out the way I want it to turn out, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I don't know how to make things turn out my way without getting really, really involved, I completely love and accept myself. This fear, this fear that life doesn't turn out right unless I'm thinking about it, unless I'm worrying about it, unless I'm planning about it, unless I'm controlling about it. This fear, this fear that I have to get super involved in everything, this fear of delegating, this fear of going with the flow, this fear of trusting. I don't trust. I cannot trust the process. I don't trust myself. I don't trust other people. I don't trust the universe. I'm not trusting. I'm just not trusting. 
I don't I wish I could but I don't I know I should but I won't this feeling this feeling that I can't trust it's sad that I can't trust I don't trust myself this worry I'd like to let it go maybe I can let it go a little bit you know when I think about it there's a couple of things in life that turned out okay even when I didn't get hyper involved there are things that happen and work well when I don't get involved. There are things that sometimes even work themselves out better when I don't get too involved or when I don't try to control them. When I do my part, but I let go of the rest. When I let go of trying to control. There's a lot of things that do work well like my water turns on every day, most days, or the electricity works, or <clears throat> my car works, and I don't spend a lot of time thinking about and feeling about those things. There's a lot of things in life that actually just hum along and work, even though I'm not thinking about them. Matter of fact, there's other examples I can think of in my life when Stuff happened, life worked, played itself out, and I wasn't very involved. Maybe I don't need to be controlling. Maybe I don't need to get very involved in everything for it to turn out right. Maybe I could let go a little bit more and also change my ideas about what right is. Maybe I could except that sometimes life is going to give me different results than I thought were the ones I wanted. And sometimes those results are actually what is for the highest good. Take a nice deep breath. Take a great long exhale. <sighs> okay, I'd just like you to notice what your thoughts and feelings, what came up for you. And I'd also like you to just notice what you feel like in your body. And I'd like you to measure on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 the highest, 1 the lowest. What, where is that fear now? Where is that desire to control? Did it go up? Did it go down? Is it the same? Let's jump back in. Even though I could consider letting go of control, maybe there are benefits to me letting go of control. I completely love and accept myself. Even though there are some good things that happen when I'm not controlling everything. Sometimes when I control, it doesn't work out as well. I completely love and accept myself. Even though it's possible that letting go feels good and makes decent results, I completely love and accept myself. I can let go. I can let go of this. I'll still do my part. I can still take the action steps that I need to take, but I can let go of the energy. I can let go of all the frustration. I can let go of the worry. I can still take the action steps that are important for me to take, but I can let go of the worry and the concern about the process. I can do my part and let go of the rest. I can do my best and let go of the rest. I just need to do my part and my best. The rest of it is not my business. Other people will take care of the rest. The universe, the divine will take care of the rest. My angels will take care of the rest. Forces seen and unseen will take care of the rest. I need to do my part. The rest I can let go of. I release it. It's not my business. When I'm in an easy energy, when I go with the flow, the results are better. Things turn out easier. I'm paving the way with my own energy. I'm paving the flow with my own energy. I'm creating the flow with my own energy. I can let go. Let me just do my part. I'll do my best. I'm going to trust the rest. I'm going to let go. I'm going to go with the flow. I'm going to go with the flow. I'm going to go with the flow. 
I'm going to go with the flow. I'm going with the flow. I am going with the flow. I'm going with the flow. I am going with the flow. Take a nice deep breath in. And a great long exhale out. Excellent. Good. I want you to just notice what came up for you when we did that. Notice what thoughts and what feelings. I also want you to notice what's happening in your body. And now I want you to measure on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 the highest and 1 the lowest. Where is that fear, that desire to control? Is it higher? Is it lower? Has it stayed the same? If it's the same or higher, which is unusual, that sometimes happens because the energy is really blocked. If that's happened, you need to keep doing this video. Start at the beginning and do it again. If you're down closer to a one or a zero, you can stop this video if you're at a one or a zero. If you're still in the three, four, or five, you should begin it again and do it again until you are down to a one or a zero. Because really letting go of the need to control things and being able to get back in the flow is going to produce better results and a much better enjoyment in the journey of life as things unfold. Sometimes the miracles are far greater and more um, intense and frequent when we are not limiting them by controlling all the details. Enjoy. I look forward to seeing you at the next video.